Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get the OS version, operating system version of the, of the device, of the phone from your Android app. So let's begin. You create a new project and you name this project as uh, uh, Android version app. You can name it anything. And uh, to start with, I will select probably um, the lowest version. Uh, yeah one of these versions uh, uh, API 31 because I will run it across multiple emulators to show multiple versions of the OS to show how we can do it yeah in the meantime when our environment is loading I'll quickly go take you through the Wikipedia page where it shows the version history of the Android so if you scroll down in this page in this table it lists down the uh, name of the Android uh, version and then corresponding version number so in this code what we'll see is we'll be able to capture this number release number and we'll map it to the corresponding name so say for example android version team is twin start 11 is red velvet cake and so and so forth 13 is tiramisu 14 is i think yet to come but yeah at least till tiramisu is released on august 15 2022 last year yeah this year sorry I have I already noted this down. I will be using this uh, as uh, yeah in my in my code. So uh, yeah, for if if will I'll do some kind of switch case where I'll read if ten then it can start and so and so forth. So let me quickly go back to my Android uh, Studio, and I have multiple uh, emulators, but I think uh, um, in I'll, I'll start this app in one of the emulators at least this uh, API thirty one two, which is I think corresponds to version 12. Let my app load in a parallel uh, in the emulator on the right hand side. In the meantime, I'll quickly try to develop my uh, code here. So in this particular uh, uh, code, what I'll do is I'll use a button which will give me the build. So I'll just name it get Android version. Yeah. And yeah, it I'll just give some constraints and this is the text view the default one what the environment provides I'll use it to print my output so I'll just make it a bit bigger so yeah and I'll increase the size as well uh, size of my text from as far as here 14 sp to probably 20 sp and yeah that should be so we'll change the alignment also text alignment to center yeah once we've done this i will uh, uh, i think quickly go to my java code and do a couple of things first okay first and foremost let me quickly create a public white method public void button android version and if i go back to my layout i'll associate that particular method to this button on click attribute over here like this yeah so that whenever this button is clicked it goes and fetches the or does the operation whatever we write in this particular method also i will create a class variable called text view which we will associate with that visit text view widget text view because to find view by id r dot id dot text view perfect okay once we have these variables done now i can start so first i'll create a string variable string android version and i'll take the android version using something called build dot version dot probably release yeah so as I told, uh, initially it will give me just a number, so this number 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever, I mean of course, uh, yeah, I have not printed all the numbers here because I just focused 10 and above, but yeah, you can go back whichever number you want to use uh, over here. Okay, now coming back to my code, what I will do is I will quickly create a switch, uh, string, Android version, switch case kind of, and um, if the Android version is what 13, 
then what we should do is we should update this string from okay over here i'll use this part again probably i'll just control c i'll copy it in the java for itself and keep it somewhere uh, just for reference i'll delete it at the, at the end okay so if it's 13 then what i should do is i should print this part right so you can see it should be string plus 13 perfect so this will print this part and then break then for 12 and i will do the respectively so i just do one thing control c control 12 11 10 i'll do it just for four versions but as i told you can do it for others also so 10 11 10 yeah and one by one i'll just change this part so 12 is nothing but control just no phone so tiram goes away snow phone comes there will be cake is for number 11 when start is for number 10 yeah perfect i think now i can delete this i don't need this this you can anyway verify again uh, uh, from the wikipedia link uh, Wikipedia page and I'll also post this link in my description below so you can refer that. Now I'll use the text view which we define to set text and here I'll be using this in the text view version. Now I will quickly uh, uh, bring the emulator back from here and I can see this is still loading. Uh, it's taking a lot of time I'm not sure what went wrong so I can close this emulator and okay I have a couple of other emulators so I'll just try to start it with uh, one of the other emulators and see how it comes up. And also, I'll try with uh, the other one, API 33. So, let me run that also. So, finally, my both the emulators has come up. Emulator 30, uh, 32, and 33. So, yeah, uh, these are two emulators. So, one by one, I can run. So, let me first run over here. Perfect. So, this shows version 12 i think api 32 is yeah version 12 and which corresponds to a snow phone of course you can quickly check here as well so number 12 is api so this this color i think tells the api level which is basically the level of the sdk and the android version is 12 and the name of the android is a snow phone if i go to the other one and if you run here so this is 13 tiramisu which is basically the, this one perfect and this is basically Android version API 33, which corresponds to Android um, version 33, 13 and corresponds to Tiramisu. Perfect. So that's all. I don't have any more emulators of different versions, but I think this will more or less work for previous versions as well, like Android version 10, 11, and all. So the key is like you get the string, the, the number only in the form of string, and then you can use that particular number that particular number to get the respective uh, whatever you want to do the processing like I've done over here. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below. And if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.